Distortions Unlimited just released a brand new 2023 prop, and it's an item that I've been hoping for for over a year now. Let's talk about this. For everything scary, I'm GM Haunt, and welcome to a video that I never thought I would be making, but the day has come, because today, Distortions Unlimited released a brand new 2023 prop, and it's an item that I have been crossing my fingers, Distortions would release for a year now, and my dreams have apparently come true, because the Mutant Legend prop has been released for the Distortions Unlimited 2023. Halloween season. So if you've known me for a while now, you probably know that Mutant is my favorite Distortions Unlimited animatronic of all time. Obviously, Mutant was a prop that came out last year for the 2022 Halloween season, and since the first day he got released, I've always been such a huge fan of him, and always it was a dream to add him to my collection. Unfortunately, I could not afford his price tag because obviously it is a just a little bit hefty just because of how much animation he has, his utmost high quality because he's distortions, and also because he is obviously haunt grade level and mainly manufactured um, for haunts. Well today, it looks like my dreams have actually come true because just about an hour ago, Distortions Unlimited released their second 2023 prop of the season. Yes, I know I technically missed the first prop, but I promise you I didn't miss it. I filmed the video and then I went into editing and realized that my camera made it look super dark. <laughs> well anyways, the second 2023 prop for the Distortions Unlimited season is none other than the Mutant Legend. Now obviously Distortions Unlimited tends to name their static props Legend, and when I saw a notification on my phone for distortions for a prop called Mutant Legend. I basically started to freak out because I immediately knew that it had to have been a static version of the character that I've been waiting for for over a year. All right, so obviously this guy shares the same sculpt and basically the same look as the moving version of Mutant. However, this guy does have some small differences. Number one, obviously this guy is not does not have a backboard um, connected to him like the original moving animatronic version did. This one is basically just freestanding and his arms are kind of out. Now just like a lot of distortions props, this guy's arms have metal wires in them, meaning he has fully posable arms where you can really pose them any kind of way that you think looks good. I think uh, Ed in the demo video, on um, reveal video of this guy, does a great job showing some different looks that you can create with the Mutant Legend prop. Um, some of these stock photos show them kind of just kind of like level with him kind of pointing outwards. I think it would be really cool maybe if you pointed him kind of up where it looked like he was going to pounce at you or grab you. But really, it's great that this guy has posable arms because you can create any kind of effect with the Mutant Static prop. So obviously the thing that made me love the original mutant so much is the main reason why I love the static version as well, and that is the face sculpt. When you take a look at the face of mutant, you just cannot help but be impressed. The amount of detail in it, the size of his head, his strands of hair that is coming from the top, his eyes, the nose, everything about the face of mutant is incredible. I really love the shiny teeth that just looks like spit is just coming out of his mouth. It really looks like real saliva. I just, the face of mutant is incredible and that is the thing that makes me love this character so much. So I'm so happy to see that the exact face sculpt has been carried over from the animatronic version to the static prop and it once again creates that fantastic look that I loved from the original. So obviously with this being a static prop it means that the price tag is going to be a lot lower than the animatronic version since she has no animation and obviously that was the thing that I had been hoping for for a year because I wanted to be able to get a cheaper version of the same character and now like I already mentioned my dream has come true because the Mutant Legend static prop will be retailing on the Distortions website for $574, and that is in USD. However, just like all Distortions props, he is already on sale for the first couple of weeks of release, and right now he is on sale for $524 USD, which is obviously a big discount from the animatronic version, which retails for just around $4,000, not on sale. Now, with the price tag being a lot lower than the animatronic version, I am going to try my absolute hardest 
to pick this guy up and add him to my collection at some point in the near future and bring him to the GM Haunts YouTube channel in the form of an unboxing because like I said, a mutant static prop has been my dream distortions item since the first day we saw him so that I could pick him up for a lower price tag. And I will say that I am attending Trans World 2023, which is obviously uh, one of the main shows that distortions attends, uh, if not the main show they attend. So if anything, I'm going to cross my fingers that maybe I can pick up uh, the mutant legend static prop as an order at Trans World, if not maybe earlier, if I can try to get the money for this guy because... I love this guy so much. I've been hoping for a static prop and it has finally happened. And when I saw the uh, YouTube video get uploaded for this guy, I was so over the moon and I still am because this is, quite, once again, my dream distortions item since the day that we first saw Mutant. But overall, I think the Mutant static prop is absolutely incredible. It definitely fulfills a dream of mine and I really hope that I will be able to pick him up at some point in the near future and add him to my animatronic collection even though he is a static prop. I'm just so happy that Distortions and the crew and Ed and all of them were able to transfer the look of the first one right over to the static prop and just remove the animation. And I also really enjoy the addition of posable arms for the static version because I feel like if he did have a backboard, this would not look as good because he's static and if he just had a backboard but stood completely still, it wouldn't really create the same effect. So I'm really, really glad that they completely threw away the backboard and just gave him a uh, freestanding armature with some posable arms in there. And under lighting, this guy looks insane. I'm sure this is going to be a fantastic quality prop, just like all distortions is, because uh, obviously he is a completely foam latex armature, which is what we've come to expect from distortions. But overall, the mutant static prop has finally come true. A dream of mine has been fulfilled, and I hope to add him to my collection at some point in the future. But I guess, remember as always, for everything scary, I'm GM Haunts. I'll see you guys later for more Distortions Unlimited 2023 videos. Goodbye.